sweet. Um, this one I've actually had for a while. It's a super bright 10 millimeter blue LED. I am going to wire that eventually so that whenever the car is on, the um, the Chevrolet at the bottom of the dash is lit up. She gave me all those electronics. Like, remember these things? I mean, these must have had, he must have had this thing forever. 89 cents. My little LED box is done, pretty much. I only have one multicolor LED. Now, if you buy one of these things, make sure it's the clear one and it only has three wires. The other one's a weak. iPod actually does chug, uh, plug, plug in and charge. Um, but I have to kind of hold this for you. Now this one's going to go through a cycle of all the colors. It's, I think it does it twice. You know, once all your cycles are done, you have a mode button. Now this is going to be in a box, in that box under the dash. I press the button, I'll get red, green, blue and then it does mix colors that's uh, probably red and looks like red and blue red purple a uh, mix of all I believe it was and then one of them the last mode does a rotating thing of all the colors it'll go red green blue purple yellow orange you know what I mean now this could be the gauge in the dash of my car doing these crazy colors and press it again and it'll go off I just hit the recycle button that's why or actually I disconnected it and I get a little LED that tells me it has power red green blue orange mix of two colors purple uh, kinda like a white I know it looks blue and then the rotating I wish I could pick up that LED and put it in a gauge but I don't have a gauge in my hand. <laughs> well, I got the fuel gauge. Probably won't be able to see it too good in this, though. We'll see. There you go. That could be in the dash of the car, changing colors. That's just when you're parked. And, I mean, an LED draws very, very little voltage. Uh, I also had the blue one. I had a 10 millimeter blue one wired in. Now this is going to be uh, the Chevy logo on the gauge cluster on the bottom right there actually. I'm going to make a little box for it to go in and when there's no power to the car like this, there's no power to that LED. Now this one just rotates. This one doesn't rotate colors or anything, it's just blue. That one rotates. But I need like one, two, three, four, and at least four or five more of those very simple to wire a little rectifier now I uh, I did it a little differently instead of just bringing the 12 volts down and uh, absorbing all the heat I used the voltage regulator to absorb the heat and brought it down to 5 volts and at the 5 volts then I used a 100 ohm uh, half watt resistor on each LED you can actually see it on this one where is it right there see the resistor now, the resistor I have in my black, it doesn't matter, but if you know electricity, electricity flows negative to positive, not positive to negative. Um, the green is the one that switches it, that's it. When the green is connected to the black, it, that's the switch. That's all that switch is wired to. There's nothing to it. All the um, blinking and flashing and all that stuff is in the LED. So you don't really have to mess with anything. But that's cool to know it works. Now I have my long stud here, that's my ground. Of course, if I touch it to the battery, it would take off if it was connected still, but it ain't. And I got my iPod cable, so this is almost done. I need uh, four or five more LEDs, and that's about it, guys. Um, I'm going to find some gauges. I'm sick of looking for green lines and this line and that line and Stuart Warner. and Like the guy said, you get, you get frustrated with it. It's ridiculous. It's $450 for a set of moons. It's $400 for a set of Stuart Warner. Well, eventually we'll have a nice set. I don't care if I get to put a bunch of aftermarket cheapies. I might get those other ones and put them back in. But I'd still be missing one, so I might as well just buy another set. And I love that gauge. That is just too cool. The, the uh, copper is actually breaking through where the nickel.
plate would have been because I don't think they had chrome back then. This is actually um, the 1933 Chevy had this exact same gauge except it doesn't have a bezel around it. It has four brackets. Um, well, one bracket with four holes in it around the perimeter and it bolted in from the back side. So that's pretty wild how it's almost the same thing. I know I keep showing my, my gauge cluster. But uh, this is done. About 99% done. There's my negative, there's my positive. And the negative is what holds it on. So uh, you reach under the dash to hit the switch. If I had an LED that's 12 volts, so I put it in. It probably has that 100 ohm resistor in it. Actually, I think it's a 720 to reduce it to uh, 12 volts. But once you've done a few, you get used to the numbers. It's not hard at all. My iPod's plugged in actually. Not to this right now, but it's plugged into the cable. It is freaking cold out. It's been raining. I'm out here shivering if you can't hear me. But we don't need these lights anymore. See you. No dull little lights. What else we got to do? <laughs> My god, is it cold. Ground strap. Uh, a gentleman said, hey, uh, that's kind of small. Um, it's factory. I'll try it. I mean, the thing runs right now without a ground strap on it. I never even realized that. The starter does kick over. I haven't seen any crazy sparks. Or maybe that's what Dawn will see in. I did have one loose connection, but uh, we'll try that one. We'll connect it from like a somewhere out of sight, I hope, like transmission or up front of the block or uh, to the frame. Wow, is it cold out here. I cannot believe how cold it is. And I wanted to do some work today. I like I was saying, I didn't say it yet. I made a bracket for my radio. Um, I wanted a DIN radio in here to sit back. And if I can open this, it's going to bolt to the top right there. There's a big empty space because I didn't want the thing to weigh a ton. It's basically just a border, a quarter inch border of where the radio would go. Um, got a little wiring to do under there, but nothing crazy. But I wanted it so if you're standing here looking at it, you don't really see the radio, you'd have to look for it, you know what I mean, to be under there. I could even set it back further than that if I wanted to because it sits um, it sits on top of the heater. If there was a radio in there, it would just about reach to the heater. Maybe not a good thing, but it won't hurt anybody. I'd love to stay out here, but uh, i got to go lay down. I was out till. Jeez, I got home 3 o'clock in the morning last night. It's like 7. So you tell me how many hours I got of sleep. Four! <laughs> I'm going to bring this in the house because i got to get more LEDs. I need four more. Okay, gents. Guys and girls. Say goodnight to Evelyn. Good night, Evelyn. Have a good day.